linear analysis of fear. Okay, the performed in this fear is used for linear or nonlinear analysis. Okay, it is the very powerful software which is frequently used for nonlinear analysis that have the capability for linear analysis as well. Okay, so in this collection of tutorials about the performed in this software, I have decided to divide the tutorials by part by part and portion by portion. Okay, so those who are just interested to learn more about the performed in this software, please follow all the consequences about part by part. Okay, we will just start from the very beginning how to generate the nodes and step by step procedure will be followed up to the last and advanced level. Okay, so in this window and this welcoming window, there is three portion. One is just start a new structure, another one is open an existing structure and the third one is just exit and close that from the days of year. Okay, so I will here start a new structure. I will give a name here. Start startup. Okay, structure. Okay, and the force unit will be Newton, and the length unit will be meter. Okay, and this is the gravity acceleration. Okay, here. I will specify the locations where I want to save my structure, user defined, I will browse the location, desktop, okay, so I will just make a new folder here, I will, I will rename it, okay, startup, okay, structure, I will just press ok, and Put the description, okay, of the structure. Okay. I will choose here the minimum spacing between nodes will be this one and save change every five minutes. If you choose here, never. So you have to choose the saving option manually or from the file menu or you can just put here the 5 minutes ok every 5 minutes after every change the system is automatically saved the change ok and here this error message is the new and this latest version ok in the previous world version it does not exist ok so I would remind you if you do not have this new version software, okay, I have explained how to download free version of this software, which link is in the description box below. Follow the tutorial, you will access for free download of this new version software. Okay, so I will just set all the information, I will press OK. And here for choosing a task, we have two phases. One is the modeling phase and another one is the analysis phase. Okay, in modeling phase, I will choose here the nodes and here the overall information of the structure has been set, which I have explained before. Okay, I will come here to the node section here. Here is the node properties and explanation. Okay, I will do here and for supports and masses and constraints okay so i will come here to the node and the single node okay and interpolate duplicate a node and grid system and move and finally delete the node okay i will come here to the single node i will choose here the coordinates about each one directions coordinates of each two directions and v vertical or just z axis okay i will choose here zero zero and zero coordinates i will test and okay this node has been created with coordinates zero zero and zero about all the axes respectively okay i will choose here five meter about 
its two directions, h1 direction, sorry, and 0 about its two directions, and v is also 0 of the test. Okay, means this node has been created which have the distance of 5 meter from this node. Okay, again, I will just create here the 10 meter distance from this node. Okay, so 10 meter, okay, 0 and 0. Test, okay, means this two nodes have a distance of 5 meter and these two nodes also the same distance. Okay, I will come here the 15 meter, 0 and 0. Test, okay, and another 20 meter, 0 and 0. Test, okay. All the nodes have the same 5 meter distance, okay, and this is the H1 direction, okay. So, afterward, if you want to just offset any node, okay, you will choose here. It is offset distance, and you will choose here, for example, I'm coming here about H1 direction, okay, I will choose here this node, okay. I will give an offset of 1 meter and 0, 0 test ok means this node has been offset about 1 meters and each one direction ok if you want to offset here for each two directions ok like 2 meter 0 0 test ok this node has been offset about 2 meter and each two direction ok so the same as for all the nodes if you want to just select all the nodes and do the offset about each and every axis you want okay so I will delete this node okay I will delete both nodes okay I will come here back okay and now here I will come to the polar codes okay for example this is the central node okay I will choose to select this one okay I will give the distance about 5 meter and the angle will be 90 degree sorry and I will test and OK so means this node has been polar codes OK other this collection of nodes OK so if you want to just do for another you can just do here easily means this is the central node uh, the central node polar codes OK you can just connect okay all these nodes with this polar node okay i will just delete this one i am just done here for your understanding okay so i have talked all about the offset and polar codes now i'm coming here to the interplate node okay i will choose here this node and the beginning node and this one is the ending node okay I will choose here the number of nodes to be generated about like three nodes I want to generate okay and the uniform distance or the proportional of length and or the distance I want to just show one meter distance okay test okay means all these three nodes have a one meter distance okay from this node which is the starting node okay or you, you can just choose the any form the distance or the proportional distance about any between any two nodes okay so I will delete all these nodes back okay so it was about the interpolate how to interpolate the nodes okay now I'm coming here to the duplicate so I want to duplicate okay this node okay about each one directions 5 meter and 0 0 test okay means this node has been duplicated okay so now now I want to duplicate all these nodes okay about each two direction okay 5 meter or just see 4 meter okay test okay means all these nodes has been duplicated about 4 meter now I want these nodes to be duplicated about each directions 8 meters ok I will choose here 8 and test ok now I want the same nodes to be duplicated ok about 12 meter ok about each two directions ok others are 0 and 0 test ok 
and same as the same loops will be duplicated about 6 geometer about test ok means these no all these nodes has been duplicated about 4 meter 8 meter and 12 in 6 meters okay these all nodes have the same distance from each other okay and these nodes have a 5 meter distance from each other okay so this time i want to just select all these nodes okay or you can just select from here also which is each two directions okay these nodes okay and each one direction and the clone view okay and the basic view well you you can just do here from angle as well okay about each one v directions and each two directions okay so i will choose here back the basic view okay and come here to the nodes back i will select all these nodes okay i will come here the duplicate and select all these nodes okay i will just do this time each one directions will be zero shift next one direction zero meter zero meter and here four meter i will test okay all these nodes which are in red color has been duplicated about 4 meter and v2 direction or vertically okay this time i want to duplicate here about minus 4 test okay this nodes has been duplicated about negative 4 meter okay the same as i want here for 8 meters upward okay this nodes test okay these nodes has been duplicated okay and the same as for 12 meter test okay all these nodes has been duplicated about 12 meter in upward and 4 meter downward okay if you do not able to like it, it when it is difficult to be visible or clearly understanding about the plan view or the basic view you can just change the view from here which is each two, each one, and plan view. Okay. So now I'm coming here to the grid system, to the grid orientation. Okay. If you want to just specify the orientations, vertical orientations for horizontal orientations, and specify the degrees. Okay. About each one directions. Okay. So and choose here the dimension as well and number of plants okay and choose here the coordinates okay and the number of spins okay about b and other span directions okay and you just test the grid systems all the grids will be generated like look here which is the preview about horizontal orientation and vertical orientations okay this kind of nodes or the grids you will be creating okay so now coming to the move okay if you want to just translate or move the node okay for example i want to just okay move this node about each one directions okay two meter and zero zero okay you will choose translation or translate test okay okay means this node has been moved from it is original direction okay so if you want to just delete here back you will come here test and okay so okay so like we discuss all properties about the nodes okay single node which was the offset how to generate the nodes and polar codes interpolate duplicate grids and move and finally how to delete the node okay you will just select the node okay and you will do the test and delete okay so now i'm coming here to the support okay means how to choose the support of the structure okay for example about each one direction displacement fixed 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 and fixed if you want to just do the free rotations you will just 
choose the free okay and I will select these nodes okay for example I want to choose here these nodes to be fixed I will just okay these nodes okay and the supports has been fixed okay so if you want to just come here to the plan view okay and choose here the supports has been fixed okay so we're just fixed fixed and the rotations will be free okay and select the node okay and choose here so it is the free rotation or end node okay the mouse is okay you will choose here choose petrol name okay new mouse okay you will give a name here and one mouse okay and okay you will select here all the nodes all the nodes and it in every story and you will just assign a single node where all the mosses has been collected in that portion means all the mosses all the weight of the story for each floor story has been collected in the portions which is showing as a mass of that story okay as, as a single mass okay so you will just create a new mass and you will select all the nodes in a single story and you will just test and okay means that will be the mass as a lumped mass of that story the lumped mass means the whole weight or portion of the masses has been collected in that single story on that floor okay and you will just do a test okay and afterward you will just create another mass in two for second story and you will select all the nodes of that uh, specific story and you will just assign it and test okay which will be the lumped mass of that story okay now coming here to the constraints okay okay constraint choose a name or edit existing constraints okay in constraint creation i will do in another part okay how to create the constraints okay so it means i will just create any constraint means d1 and i will choose here horizontal rigid floor about h1 h2 and our weight displacement i will just click okay and i will choose each and every story and i will just choose as a constraint of that story it means when the structure moves that constraints will move accordingly okay when one node has been moved the whole floor of that specific building will move accordingly to that single node okay so this is the constraints but make sure we will talk about how to generate all the constraints for each and every floor in the coming tutorials okay this was just explanation about the constraints and masses okay but it's the upcoming tutorials we will discuss more about the masses okay how to create each and every mass and the constraint of each floor okay widely so do not forget to follow the upcoming tutorials which have the wide explanation about constraints and others okay thank you so much have a great time